Well, I'm out here working on a build and I was just gonna go over a few things about um, sort of laying this one out. Um, you've, if you've seen a lot of my other videos, I got tons where I actually walk through all the um, components and putting it all together and, and the process and the order that I do that. Uh, but one thing I don't think I really talk about much is uh, sort of like some of the layouts I do to even come up with uh, the, the designs and how I wanna put all the pumps, the orientations. A lot of that's discussed with the customer, um, you know, whatever's gonna work best for them. So I've built these in almost every configura configuration you could possibly think of, you know, pumps to the left, pumps to the right, pumps vertical, downward. Um, this one's actually got pumps in different uh, orientations and I'll show you that. And this sort of diagram I just do for myself just for, because uh, when I'm dealing with multiple systems at once, I'm trying to build a few at a time. Um, I have a lot of designs I do as well. So I have a lot of different things in my mind and it's easy to obviously forget something or miss, misdesign something. So I don't want to do that. So I always come up with a, a sort of diagram to follow for myself just to make sure um, the customer can agree with the layout and, you know, just make sure everything's um, going to work out before I actually purchase or uh, put any parts together. So this is only to the level, I mean, I usually just have them on a, a napkin sketch, if you will, because that's all I really need to, I understand how the parts go together. So I really just need to remember, you know, what position I want my pumps and whatnot. Um, sometimes I'll put some dimensions on there, but this is really just for, um, I don't even need this much detail here. So, but it's kind of, uh, I'm bringing this up because I wanted to talk a little bit about the designs I do. So um, if you do, not, if you don't go with a pre-built system for me and you want to go the route of me doing a design for you, for you to build yourself, um, this is about 10% of what you'd receive. I mean, the, the diagram you would get is extremely uh, much more detailed. Um, some parts are just shown as symbols. Um, I don't try to draw out every single part exactly what it would look like, but I make sure that everything's going to at least fit for you. Um, and I've drawn out any things that, and, and I'll also add tons of notes and um, every, it'll come also with a parts list and every single part is identified. This is pretty much just stripped down to nothing. So um, it's a light example of what you may get, um, but everyone is completely configured for your exact needs. Um, so we take into account the wall room that you have. Um, and like I said, we, we can position the pumps any way that work for you. Um, and also some of the questions I'll ask you is whether you want pro press fittings, sweat fittings. In some instances you could use PEX fittings like for the domestic hot water connections. And even sometimes we'll build systems with PEX. It all just depends. And I'll recommend those things for you, the pros and cons and, and uh, why or why you can or can't uh, do, do a specific sort of piping or whatnot. Um, what else can I touch on? I think, uh, yeah, and then also things like if you have existing baseboards that you're tying into and you have three quarter inch copper connections, that's something I'll, we'll, we'll talk through and come up with choices and I'll put the correct fittings for you to tie directly into. Um, so everything's completely customizable. It's all built completely to your needs. Um, this one, like I said, I'll just go over a little bit about the layout. So this one's actually going to be for radiant heat and um, the customer has a manifold off to the left here that'll be handled by this. This will be the return pipe going over the manifold that it'll get tied into. Then there's another manifold over in another room. Um, so these pipes will come down here, turn over, and again, this will be the supply and the return for that and head that way. Now, uh, it looks like on here that I got some pipes crossing over each other, uh, but really what that, that is is there's different elevations to this. So um, the return piping will actually pass in front of the supply piping. Everything will be sort of bumped out for that. Um, and those are all things that on a design, I specifically mark out all the fittings you'll need for that. I'll put notes explaining um, if there are different elevations like that so that it's it's completely clear as you put it together. And of course, if you're assembling it or having someone assemble it, um, you know, we could we could talk through it uh, during the build. So yeah, I just want to touch on that, go over this design and just talk a little bit about the designs that I offer. Um, like I said, check out all the other videos. I have tons of builds, tons of walkthroughs if you're trying to learn about boiler systems and what each component does and how it works and um, how you go about building these. Uh, and subscribe if you haven't yet. Give this one a thumbs up. And with that said, we'll see you guys on the next one.